Hi, I'm Monica and I'm with the Shelter Health and Wellness Department here at the Ontario SPCA. Today I will be demonstrating how to bandage a dog's paw. For the purposes of this video we will be using our pretend dog fin here just so that uh, we can show you proper techniques without using a live animal that uh, moves around. The materials you will need are laid out here. We will be using 3x3 three three gauze squares, a 1 inch roll of medical tape and 2 inch cling gauze roll. These items come in all different sizes so depending on the size of your dog or your dog's paw you may need larger sizes of gauze. This video does not replace veterinary care. It is strictly to teach you how to bandage in the event of an emergency to help stop any bleeding as you make your way to your veterinarian. If you have a second person that can hold a dog while you are bandaging, this will be helpful as most dogs will not be very compliant with having you spend the time wrapping its paw, especially if it's sore and wounded. We are going to pretend that the dog has a wound on the bottom of its pad, so we will start by placing a few gauze squares over the wound, folding in half if the animal has a smaller pad. Taking your cling gauze roll, start to unroll it, so the gauze is coming out from the bottom of the roll as opposed to it coming out from the top of the roll like this. You will find this makes bandaging a lot easier. Start unrolling from above the wound. We suggest starting at the next joint up, which would be the dog's wrist or carpus, so that the bandage doesn't slip down the dog's leg. Roll down over his toes and back up behind, then back up the front, down the front again, and then start wrapping around the sides, about half on the gauze and half on the animal's fur making sure all of the gauze square is tucked in under the cling gauze and not sticking out. If you need to wrap it a few times down over the toes to tuck everything in, that's okay too. Be sure not to wrap the gauze too tight. You don't want to cut off circulation to the paw and cause more damage. As you can see, this can take some practice to maneuver your hands as you're trying to hold everything in place. We suggest practicing on your pets at home before any emergency might arise. Once you get back up to the top, cut the cling gauze. Cut your tape and place it half on the gauze and half on the dog's leg. If you want to add another couple pieces of tape on the bottom of the paw to keep it in place, you can do that as well. As a reminder, this video does not replace veterinary care. So if your animal does require bandaging and gets a wound on their paw, please make sure you do take them to the veterinarian immediately. Thanks for watching and please make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel for more pet tips.